If you are looking for a solution to install the WireGuard VPN on Ubuntu, stay with me for the next few minutes. First step, you need to update the app database, so the first command is apt-get update. Wait for the update and then install WireGuard. OK, enter yes if prompted. Now that it's installed, we need to generate a pair of private and public keys for our VPN server's encryption procedures. We can use WireGuard utility WGGen key to generate a random private key. We also need to store this private key in a file. Let's just pipe the output to T so we can see the output while also saving it in a file. Now we need to create the public key. Just give the private key to the command wg pub key as an input and similar to previous step, save it to the file pub key using t. We have both the public and private keys now. WireGuard service requires a configuration file. I have prepared the configuration file right here, however, it needs some modifications. Open the file with an editor. Here we have a variable named private key, which we have to copy the content of private key we obtained previously. You can leave other values as they are, however, feel free to adjust these values according to your requirements. We have firewall configurations at the bottom. The only required change is to sync if name with the default interface of the system. Let's quit the editor for now. I can identify the default interface by executing the IP rootless default. Let's open the configuration file and change the firewall commands according to the interface name. The config file is all ready. We can just move it to slash edc slash wireguard. We also need to enable IP forwarding on the system for both IPv4 and IPv6. Open up slash edc sysctl.conf, find these two lines and uncomment them. Now we can actually enable the IP forwarding by running sysctl-p. We also need to open the VPN port so clients can connect without any trouble. You can achieve this by using UFW utility. UFW allow 51280 UDP. Let's restart the UFW firewall by disabling it and enabling it. And status shows that we've successfully opened port 51280. Okay, the configuration part is almost done. Now we have to bring up the WireGuard service. First thing to do is enabling the WireGuard service so it starts even on reboots. Systemctl enable wg-quick at wg0.service. You change the wg0 name to whatever file name you've saved under slash edc slash wireguard, which in this case we saved it as slash edc slash wireguard slash wg0.conf, so it's wg0. Start it. System control start wg quick at wg zero dot service, and now get the service status. All right, it is activated and working. Everything seems to be fine. The service is up and VPN is working. But with nginx, a reverse proxy can also be used to connect indirectly through port eighty. Now let's install the Nginx package. 
apt-get install nginx. Some small changes are required on nginx configuration. Open up the file slash edc slash nginx slash nginx.conf with an editor. We have to add a stream block containing a server block which holds the proxy configurations. Stream block, server block, listen on port 80 UDP. Proxy the connection to the WireGuard VPN port, which is 51820 in this case. Now restart the Nginx service and it's done. And done. Now both WireGuard and Nginx are active. You can connect to port 80 with your client and use the VPN. I hope this tutorial is useful. There's also a hyperlink provided in the caption if you need additional information. And if you have any specific tutorial requests, please feel free to leave a comment for me.